In 2015, the Texas legislature passed Senate Bill 11, also known as the Concealed Carry Law. This bill allows individuals who are licensed to carry holders to bring concealed handguns to Texas community college and university campuses. It includes buildings and properties which belong to the Dallas County Community College District. Universities across the state were required to implement a concealed carry policy beginning August 1st of 2016. Community colleges were given an extra year to prepare. Members of the district's Board of Trustees approved the district-wide concealed carry policy in June of 2017. DCCCD and other community colleges across the state all implemented their concealed carry policies on August 1st of 2017. This training module will help you understand how the law affects faculty, staff, and students. Senate Bill 11 allows license holders to carry concealed handguns when they are on district property. This means that any handgun must remain hidden from view at all times while license holders are on campus and in office buildings. License holders can carry their concealed handgun in many ways. For example, they can use a backpack. And inside the hip holster is another example, as long as the handgun is covered by a garment, such as a shirt or a jacket. An accidental display of a handgun usually is not illegal. However, licensed holders should make every effort to continuously conceal their handgun. Open carry, including the full or partial display of a handgun, is not permitted at any of our colleges or locations. The intentional display of a handgun also is prohibited, and long guns are not allowed on college property. SB 11 prohibits blanket handgun bans, but it does allow colleges like our system to designate certain areas as exclusion zones where handguns are prohibited. Those exclusion zones are clearly marked with signage, and entering those sites with a handgun is a violation of the law and our district's policy. The district has identified a number of exclusion zones at our colleges and locations. Examples of those exclusion zones include child care and pre-K education centers, health centers, sports events, and DCCCD Board of Trustee meetings. A complete list of exclusion zones is provided in the district's concealed carry policy. In addition, college officials may designate some events as temporary exclusion zones. Licensed to carry holders are responsible for complying with the concealed carry law and the district's policy while they're on the district's property. If you wish to carry a concealed handgun on DCCCD property, you must keep the weapon on or about your body. You also must show district police officers your permit if they ask to see it. If you intend to enter one of the exclusion zones, you must secure the weapon in your own locked vehicle.